Good evening ladies and gents, welcome to another video brought to you by Total Control Traders. Let's get right into it. I guess not getting right into it. As, uh, Google decided to uh, speak up there. Right, let's get into it. SPX, what's going on? What is this? This is a potential new 4-hour lower trend line. Now, when we look at the chart on SPX, the, today was not an exciting day whatsoever the bounce happened in after hour yesterday so when we look at this lower wick we'll look at where we bounce from actually right from that gp even if we didn't withdraw this trend line that's right from that gp okay that is crazy and when we look at the four hours it is a very clear upper trend line that's been multiple rejections one break over and it became support and boom got shut down again multiple rejection again so that is the key trend line to break through as we discussed in yesterday's video now when we look at this on spx there intraday that is so weird my google would not stop talking i have to go through the app anyway any of you ever had that problem before just kept saying oh let's try that again all right so spx one hour this is what we're looking at intraday the whole day there's two potential upper trend lines that we're looking at the shorter term trend line where we saw multiple rejections and intraday there's a huge rejection now i didn't play this bearish because i wasn't wasn't too sure what's going on whether it was going to be this upper trend line or this upper trend line but we saw uh, as the day go through we saw that there's potential rejection coming through and i sent the message out to the group to saying hey there's a potential bear bear play here but ultimately i'll be looking at a bull a bottom fish bull, bull play over here from that gp at lower trend line again and look at where we bounce from actually so we redrew this trend line from uh on the green over here because this is a huge lower wick so we i decided to draw it from this lower this lower part of the green candle instead and when we draw it out we can see multiple bounces this still holds true and then when you dra drag it out to use that second point to the bounce from last night that still holds true of course because you're drawing it to there but then look at where we bounce from today boom trend line bounce and then we slight rejection again in the after hours we are now seeing is that after, after hours four o'clock yeah in the after hours we're seeing a slight break over this what, what do you call it medium trend line maybe I don't, I don't like this trend line to be honest this middle one ultimately i think we'll be looking at this upper one where all those wick came in uh you can maybe even redraw redraw this to like over here Let's see how that will work no that doesn't really work and yeah maybe over here one candle before so you can see rejection another one wick rejection rejection again and then with that it will line up a little bit better with these two two upper wicks so there's two two trend lines over here regardless now i'm thinking that uh in the after hours is likely gonna be a, a bull break actually i sent out the message before the market closed so we did see a bull break ever so slightly over here but no follow through so far now personally still not really sure what's uh what to play there's nothing too too exciting out there except for two things gold and oil now let's get into it let's take a look at that gold actually no it's not gold that we like to look at we like to look at the actual index xau us dollars we saw follow through today this is crazy so with looking at this you know on the bull break huge bull volume was that today oh i did not see the volume today wow yo what's going on here i saw the follow through did not see the volume one of the highest volume ever on gold today we're gonna have to keep a close eye on this tomorrow so this is very nice volume yesterday. Look at today's volume. No wonder. So I was looking at the chart today. I was looking at the one hour. There's going to be a bear divergence. Came back down. Already ate. Boom. Went to new highs. Bear divergence. Bull flag. <laughs> oh, this is one strong chart. Gold. There is no reason to sell yet. You know, if you're in the position, good for you. Uh, looking at this is already eight is a short-term guide if you want to be a little bit more conservative four hour eight would be your guide i'm thinking that you know four hour eight even if you were looking at you no know, ideally you would have gone in at the break over here 
the break of the upper trend line. So even if you're to use the four out eight now, that is what like one percent move already. So depending on what you're in. Uh, options whichever this could be a very nice return now ultimately I'm looking at this as uh, I still want that back test I'm not in maybe that's why but looking at this there is still that already bo bear divergence okay I'm a little bit more conservative on this maybe if it is continues to grind up I'm, I'm okay with that you know coming back down uh, I want to see that in this kind of market environment, I would rather have a most ideal entry um, on any play, if, especially if I were to swing. As right now, most of my positions are keeping to scalping positions. Um, yeah, so gold is one of them. The other one is oil. Let's take a look at oil. Now, funny thing. Oil, we are getting to that upper trend line. Let me look at this chart. There's a couple possible scenarios for an upper trend line. There is that channel where we're seeing one, two, three, four rejections already. And then there's this potential little bit more losing momentum upper trend line or whatever you want to call it. There's a uh, one rejection where you can actually see it didn't didn't break over that upper trend upper trend line of the channel. Another second rejection. And then the third okay, maybe we'll have to redraw this to the third over here. That's actually further. Oh, okay, I'm looking at it wrong. I was looking at the green line. Confusing. Anyway, so one, two, three rejections on this white trend line. And then now we're seeing a slight rejection and bull break on this. So ultimately, I'm still looking at this upper trend line of the channel. Now, uh, I am in a small position. Uh, but on the on the loss of this lower trend line, that's why that's the key that we're going to be watching for. There's going to be multiple bounces on this trend line already, including this wick. You know, multiple bounces. So that's going to be key to watch. Once this lower trend line is lost, there is going to be a very nice play for the bearish on oil. Now that's the only. Maybe we'll do one more ticker. Tesla, actually. Yeah, let's do Tesla. Tesla. I, I, I couldn't decide what to pick for that third hottest ticker. Today with Tesla was fairly strong, especially at the beginning of the day. Look at this. GP bounce, back test of this upper trend line, previous upper trend line. Let's do the hourly chart over here a little bit more clear. One, two, three rejections. Bow, sideways bull break. Okay, sideways bull break. That is very key. Now we see a slight pullback. GP plus back test of that upper trend line. Now this is looking very interesting because let's see where we bounce from. Is that GP or is that gold uh, platinum zone? Whoa, computer is so laggy. Sorry, I do have my uh, new game running in the background. 0.786. Okay, so it's a little bit weaker there. Huge lower wick though. So I like that. Uh, on the daily, actually, no, sorry. 15 minute. Look at this. On, on the market open. Boom, just stars running, stars running. This is algo action, just non-stop, five minute eight. They give it a five minute eight guide. So it broke over, a little bit of a chop, boom. Okay, and then five minute eight bull flag. Tried to confirm, market pull back, but Tesla held up, held that five minute eight and continuation. Now that is the GTFO sign right here. Tesla, I really like what it's doing. It's still holding up. It's still holding up. I think there may be a little bit more downside if we were to go, go a little bit uh, more bearish. I'm looking at this. Two days later, one, two, two days later, you know, in this inter intersection, this money line, this money line has held, I don't know how many times now. Look at this. One bounce. Uh, yeah, that did not touch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bounces. On the loss of this money line, that's going to be a huge concern. But as of right now, that money line is money line. So when we touch it again, I will be looking at a position, whether it's going to be, you know, commons, options, whatever it is. But lines up with 0 0.786, the, meaning the bounce may not be strong. We could be just looking at boom, back test before coming back down again. But I think there's going to be, a, let's see where it is that. Oh, ideally, you want to see a flush of 800. Anyways, Tesla is that third hottest ticker. Now let's get into some ticker requests today. What do we got? Shop. Still that increased momentum trend line rejection. Hey, GP hold. 
Uh, if we were to actually break from here, th now this is gonna be a. Uh, I'm gonna have to change this re this alert here, delete, and delete this upper trend line one. Gonna set it to this increased momentum upper trend line one. We get I gotta come up with a new name for this. So this is upper trend line. This is increased momentum, but you know. Uh, I don't know. Increase momentum to the downside. The, the reason why I like this now, look at this, is low is 780, uh, 792, and then 806. And now, if this is the low, 835, ooh, that's gonna be sexy. Move upwards. So, keeping a very close eye on this now, shop is gonna be one of my top watches. GP hold, quad bottom, potential quad bottom. Uh, if you were to use this, now this is the shorter trend line that must hold. Yeah, <laughs> if we hold this and break bull, this should have a very nice play. Uh, thank you for reminding me that next one is Nvidia. Okay, so this doesn't apply. We're gonna have to redraw this. Uh, these. Uh... Okay, so we held the extension to the bottom. 1 to 1.272 extension, I'm assuming. Let's take a look. Yeah, 1.272 extension. Now, where are we at right now? Is that 0.5? Ooh, chart's trying to hold 0.5. So it's still relatively strong. Earnings is coming up in two days, so that we could see a run into earnings. You could also say that this is running into uh, an attempt to run into earnings already that got rejected from that upper trend line. One, two, three, four rejection already. Ooh, keep an eye on that. If that earning comes out amazing, this will go. Once it goes, and I, I would imagine if earning comes out amazing, we should see a break of the upper trend line. And that would be very key. Actually, tomorrow, maybe maybe tomorrow. Let me set, it, set myself a reminder. What's the earnings? Uh, I gotta take a look here. And so look at shop is before open on Wednesday. Nvidia is after close on Wednesday. So we still have two days to go. Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. There's two days to go on on Nvidia. Uh, keeping gonna be keeping an eye on this now. Actually, if we hold the point five going into tomorrow and starts curling up, it's looking good. Well, hmm. Depends how you look at it. So if it starts calling up and then we touch it before the earnings, whether it's tomorrow or Wednesday, that could be a, a red flag. You know, uh, earnings boom come straight down. Regardless, gonna be watching this on the video. Next one, what else we got here? UPST. By the way, guys, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Thank you so much for all your support lately. And been noticing a uh, huge increase on the thumbs up. Really helps. Thank you guys. Oh, also, uh, there is second enrollment of free membership to our Slack. No credit card information required. No, no, uh, no payment required. Of course, it is free. So check it out. The link is in the description below in our video. Or alternatively, you can look at a seven-day free trial from our website at totalcontroltraders.com. Now we look at the UPST. This is a nice bottom fish area. IPO, first run, back test. Now we're holding that zone. Can probably delete these, uh, some of these trend lines now. So when we look at this, this upper trend line, it was an actual decent break on volume, uh, a volume next day. It was actually a decent break. And then follow through the next day, but then it got rejected from that uh, resistance, support resistance. Now we're range bound. Looking at this chart, I would not feel comfortable playing unless there's a break either way. Uh, range bound, you know, in between whether it's going to be break down below the key zone or break above, what is this? 120.04, oh, 120.75. So I put, I put it about 121 maybe. Where's my alert at for this one? Oh, I actually don't have an alert for this one. All right, so we're going to set it to about 121, maybe. So UPST, uh, this could go for some time. Earnings is tomorrow, February 15th. Yeah, earnings is tomorrow. Should see a break. 
ultimately this this daily is looking fairly decent actually daily lower low lower high higher low higher high higher low lower high so this is becoming a pendant a wedge we just can call it wedge from now on computer is lagging <laughs> it could be something like that regardless that 121 needs to go all right so that's it for today's video hope you guys enjoy the content hey if you know anyone that may benefit from the video that we share please consider sharing our channel with them also free trial second enrollment 20 individuals only check it out link down in the description thank you for watching i will see you guys in the next video